All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube, Pastor Dow. Um, you know, we're going to go ahead and end this um, undiagnosed schizophrenic sideshow right here. We're going to cut it because it's obvious uh, that these people are trying to look for some type of traction uh, and notoriety by trying to use straightway as a mean to try to catapult their false prophecy and their false ministry. We've already showed you and that they are discredited. Uh, their word is not valid. As a matter of fact, they already have become a laughing stock amongst, you know, us, the Israelites. Um, people are talking about it left and right. And, um, and, and, and now, you know, nobody's going to believe a word that they said. Um, you all know what I'm talking about. We had the false prophet uh, and who likes hiding behind the camera, makes uh, videos with comments cut off uh, and said if we come and visit him, uh, he's going to call the police on us. And not only that, twist, warp, and distort my words. Now, mind you, straightways over here mind their own business. And, and they are the ones who have actually decided to come over here and jump on this bandwagon. And for some reason, in their arrogancy and their prideful uh, discourse, they really truly believe the mess that they're spewing, even though they have found out to be liars. They've been found to be liars. And for some reason, they are emotionally charged up. One of the things he said is, is that if anybody do their own investigation, they'll see um, that the... Um, uh, law enforcement people have, have put us under investigation. Uh, now, I will say this. Anybody who proclaims to be an Hebrew Israelite or an Israelite in this world, you're going to be investigated. Um, but it's amazing. We've never seen one Tennessee Bureau of Investigation um, operator or what they call them things. What, what they call them? Agents. Uh, we've never heard from the FBI or uh, the Sheriff's Department or the Police Department or nothing. It's just that people out there are spewing allegations, talking about our abuse of the women. Well, I don't know. I mean, our women out there are pretty good. I mean, they have their own radio broadcast. Uh, they post quite frequently on Facebook and uh, all these things that they're saying, the way our women are, they don't present themselves that way. Matter of fact, they all are pretty happy to tell you the truth. <laughs> but that still doesn't stop the false allegations going. Now, you, you're looking at a people, it's obvious that there's some mental challenges going on up here. Uh, it's kind of like that Jerusalem uh, syndrome. Everybody that goes to Jerusalem, they either come back believing that they're either Moses or Elijah. Uh, these people actually truly believe uh, that they're <clears throat> of the Father. Here's what I now, of course, the way the book talks, that if, and we've already been over this, you can go back in the last video. If somebody gives a, a false prophecy and they invoke the name of the Lord, they invoke the name of Yahweh Elohim, uh, Abba Yahuwah, and it doesn't come to pass, you're a false prophet. And what I said was, you are fortunate that we are not in our land because if we were in our homeland, I'll be the first one to throw the stone to pop you upside the head to kill you, to annihilate you. But we're not in our own land. That's the way that it used to be in ancient Israel. But see, when you have the advent of social media and, and people can get out here and bump their guns, run their lips and lie on the created universe, uh, they do it carte blanche. They, they do it with... Without, I mean, just, I, again, with some type of perceived freedom, but at the same time, they don't want discourse. They don't want intellectual discourse. They don't want face-to-face -face discourse, and they never don't even want you to even have anything to say. They just want you to hear what they got to say, to cut off the comments, because they don't want the smoke that's going to come back, that's going to rebuke them, showing them that just, they are just like, kind of reminds you of, uh, Hananiah, the prophet in the day against Jeremiah. Hananiah showed out to be a false prophet. So does this guy. It, um, what's really truly going on in the daytime now we're living in now is a bunch of people who are running around undiagnosed schizophrenics. I mean, everything is fake from the woman's and their fake hair, fake everything, and, and then their fakeness. Um, 
He says also you can do some type of investigation. You'll come to these conclusions. Well, the investigation of the court of public opinion don't mean nothing. If there was something valid there, the, the law enforcement agencies are not dependent on the court of public opinion in order to bring some type of charges, which we've never had, ever. We're not like a lot of these other camps where you've actually had police kicking down doors and, and coming raiding them in the middle of the night and, 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 and coming investigating them. That ain't us. Everything we do, it's out in the open. It's in the public. Everything we do. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this because it's obvious that the false prophet is crawdadding. It's obvious that the false prophet is tap dancing. He's nervous. Um, and it's obvious he's not a man. He's definitely not a man. You see, myself, um, we got a lot of veterans. A lot of veterans. A lot of wartime veterans in this ministry. Um, they know what it means to be in the real shit. You know, yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about collectively, corporately. We know what it means to be in the real shit. And we also know a punk when we see him and, and an effeminate man uh, or let's say an effeminate male that's trying to be a man. Uh, but I've learned over the years that people like this, they'll just keep on and keep on and keep on. They'll never admit that they were wrong. Even though they were clearly wrong, they'll never admit it that they were wrong and they were out of pocket and out of order. Um... It's sad. It really, truly is sad. Uh, there's no convention of doing anything of them. But um, what we're going to do from this point on, because they already told us that if we come to where they are, that they're going to call the police on us. Now, mind you, don't the word tell you don't use civil authorities for our own personal private affairs, but that's what they want to do. Uh, and I know the reason why, because when you got these long-haired men running around here, prima donnas, looking like women, I mean, tell, <laughs> I mean, it, there's some bad stuff going on. It really truly is. But to set up a woman as if she is the servant of the Most High Yah. No, you're looking at the servant of the Most High Yah. Right here on this earth, I'm one of them, right here. But um, we're just going to go ahead and ignore them, cut their little lifeline. They've had their little moment of glory, and they have found out to be liars. There's no need in wasting no time and energy and effort on it. Like I told the pastors and elders in this ministry, listen, listen, natural retardation, you can't do nothing about. Are you following me? No, let me turn that around. Uh, spiritual retardation, you can't do nothing about. Natural retardation, you can't do nothing about. But spiritual retardation, uh, that is a choice, basically. Spiritual retardation is a choice. And these people choose to be spiritually retarded. So therefore, we're going to leave them with the author of the confusion, like they are their father, the devil, Satan. And we're just going to continue to keep going on because, I mean, when you make a video and you, no comment, and you want everybody to sit up there and look at your uncovered wife with uh, somebody's hair in her head from India or wherever the hell they come from or something, knowing that that hair has probably done been dedicated to some temple goddess. And that's because... Uh, maybe what you should do is look into the prophecies about the reason why women have to put somebody else's hair in their head is because instead of well-said hair, baldness. That's what the prophet Isaiah said. Women are bald because they're bold beyond, beyond all reason. And they have taken their headship. And remember, he put up a woman, um, a, a woman with a, in a roach-infested house. He put up this woman to do a prophecy for him. And pronounce death on the ministry, to, to pronounce death on me, said I'll be done in a year. Well, he says then is adding an addendum to that. He says, Well, you're gonna die one day. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure of that. I'm sure of that if the king don't come, I'm sure that that all of us are gonna go the way of all men. You see, you see what I mean? The wiggle, it just is anyway. But it's just a sad situation, sad affair. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and cap this. I can go on and on. I'm just going to cap this right here um, because it's really a dog and pony show. It's a circus. It's, it's, it's battling with people who are beneath us. But the only reason why we gave attention to this because we finally had somebody came out and say, thus saith Abba Yahuwah. That's what he said. 
in the English vernacular, thus saith the Lord thy God. In the Hebrew vernacular, thus saith Yahweh our Elohim. Isn't that something? And it didn't come to pass. So now you are a laughing stock. You're a false prophet. Your wife is false with a, along with a false hair. Um, and, and that um, uh, Hamite is false. She false as shit too. <laughs> and she need to do something about them unruly children in the background. And you need to bow your nose and get them boogers out of it. That's what you need to do. Now, I'm stating facts right here. Yeah, that's what you need to do. Um, but other than that, we're going to be done with it. Um, and remember what I said some time ago. Sometime you have to be profane in order to be profound. Y'all have a wonderful day. Keep coming.